And now it's time for Science with Bill and Bob. I'm Professor Bob Yagatori. I'm Dr. Bill Matsutuya. This is Science with Bill and Bob. Bill, Bill and Bob. Bob. Bill, Bill and Bob. Bob. In this episode, we'll teach you about radio waves. We are going to teach you about Morse code transmitters and receivers. And we're going to show you how we use a computer to decode a radio transmission. Here are all the different components we used. First, here is the computer. This is a computer we made by hand. We built it from parts of old computers and some other parts of which we bought. And this is the transmitter. We you built this to upgrade our computer and to transmit radio waves from the generator to the receiver. And this is the receiver, which is my super awesome at home. We needed to connect the receiver to a different computer so that the computer could decode the message that the first computer transmits. In other words, we used the first computer to send a voice code um, to the second computer. We had to download an application to help the computer understand the Morse code which we used. The computer is called Morse code EXT. Morse code is used to send messages via wireless telegraphy invented by Marconi. Morse code was invented so that people could communicate by sounds. These sounds are called dot and dash. A dot is a short sound. A dot dash is a long sound. For example, to request help, people use the International Help Signal, SOS. And S is two, uh, three short dots. B, B, B. And then O is three dashes or long sounds, like B, B, B. So SOS sounds like this. Beep, beep, beep. for the uh, first computer to send a Moscow transmission and the second computer to receive the message. But we also needed the decoding program to take the sounds and translate them into letters. Uh, we learned a lot of things during this project. We learned about Moscow radio transmissions and how to receive the transmission with a receiver. We also learned how to use a soldering gun. Watch out, you might burn yourself. Now, it's time to talk about radio waves. Radio waves are invisible beams that travel from the transmitter to a receiver's antenna. These could be a car satellite to a car radio or a wireless remote to its console. Here's what our antenna looks like. We use the coat hanger because it works just like a regular antenna. The message does not travel through wires like your computer at home, but through radio waves. If you'd like to learn more about wireless communication, read our report or visit your local library. And now for some entertainment. Hey, hey, hey.